Hey guys, it's me. This is the first of the recorded series I'm doing on archetypes. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is sort of explaining what archetypes are and how they work and why, why you should care about your archetypes and actually how we go about figuring out what our archetypes are and what they mean and what that what that is. So this is going to be a series of videos that I'm going to be doing. Um, each one's going to be like, I don't know, somewhere three to five minutes, not long, just chunkable bites of information so that we can start to understand what archetypes are and why we care. So first things first, archetypes, archetypes are global patterns of energy. Like, like, like archetypes are, are very impersonal, right? But we can, so I can say things like, um, mother or teacher or geek and you and you get a sense of wo who that is hero or superhero or um uh there there are patterns of energy that no matter who you are in the world there's it's a universal language and 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 why this matters is that as as humans we all have 12 sort of major archetypes that live with us through our lives. These are p patterns of energy of who we have always been in the world. And when you understand how your particular patterns of energy run inside of you, you actually have a really good understanding of who you are and how you operate. Not only do you understand who you are and how you operate, it's almost like when I first figured out some of my archetypes, it was permission to be me for the first time in my whole life. But you get to actually come into, it helps you come into relationships differently. It helps you show up at work differently. This helps you in every single aspect of your life because you'll finally have like, a key, like a legend, like you have a map of yourself and, and the archetypes are the legend to help you read the map of yourself. So it's, it's a, it's a way home, right? So, so, so we're going to be talking about archetypes and we're going to be looking at like some universal patterns of archetypes. Everybody alive, everybody on the planet has what are called four survival archetypes. Now these are archetypes that have been with us all, all of our lives, but they, they, they came about when like, like we were born, like our child energy is the energy of who we were born with. It's our essence. It's our, it's, it's our, it's our, it's our, essentially it's our, it's who we are. It's our, it's our essence. And, and the child energy can be, we can have any kind of child energy that we want. Um, I mean, there's eternal child. I'm, I'm an eternal child, right? I'm always going to be sweatshirts and t-shirts and, and sneakers. I, I like chicken nuggets for dinner. Like there's always a part of me that wants to play. I'm like the eternal child is that, is that adult that just never really grows up. Like I can adult, I'm a mom, whatever. But like I, it, there's a, there's an aspect of me that's always going to be childlike. Like if you can just look at my face, it's very childlike and, and my passion and enthusiasm for life. Eternal children are, we're all about play. We're all about sort of just always being that childlike sense of wonder in the world. There are people who are nature children who feel so much more at home with animals and, and nature than they do with people. And these nature children actually get their energy by being outside, being in the elements, being with animals, right? You could have a magical child. You could have a magical child who is believes in magic and fairies and unicorns and rainbows and just sees everything as a possibility of magic. Magical children, um, my Lily, my daughter is a, is, a, is a sort of a combination of eternal and magical child. Like Lily actually believes that fa fairies are real and they're just out of sight, right? Magical children play with dragons and have imaginations. And, um, and this is like, as even as adults, there's still that sense of magic that happens in the world. You could have, you could have an adult child, right? <laughs> Um, if you think about Sesame Street, uh, Ernie is an eternal child and Bert is an adult child. Like Bert collects stamps and plays with pigeons and like can't understand Ernie at all, though they get along really well because Bernie's 
Bert's Ern Bert's adult child really gives Ernie a, a sense of stability, and Ernie's eternal child lets Bert play a little bit more. But yeah, adult children are way way more comfortable at a cocktail party than they are playing a board game. And and maybe you, I mean, we all know someone who's an adult child. Maybe you are an adult child, right? Adult children are beautiful. Wednesday Adams is also an adult child, right? So I mean, yes, she's macabre and she's dark, but like Wednesday Adams doesn't actually know that she's a child. My niece, my niece Kyla, is is an adult child, and she and Lily are the same age. And Kyla often tells me, "I'll I'll watch Lily. Don't worry about it." And I know she actually will. So, so, so the child energy is who you are, who you are at the core, who you are at your essence. It's who you were born as. You, your child energy may also be orphaned or wounded or abandoned. Like there may be that this karma you came in with, you, you came in with karma specifically to work off around wounding or, or being orphaned, right? Anybody who's adopted probably has an orphaned child. Um, wounded children maybe maybe had trauma in the womb or or at birth right or or they just their their whole childhood is is there's wounding that happens and it's 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 in service of them overcoming something harry potter harry potter yes he's a magician yes he's a wizard um and you could argue that he's a magical child but harry potter is actually an orphaned child right and you can see that there's a level of like he just doesn't trust himself right um yeah, Hermione's probably an adult child and Ron's the eternal child. So you get the, you get the three, five, you can see that. You can see those patterns. And so that's what archetypes are, right? The archetypes are just patterns of energy that you can see in the world. So this is the child energy. Which child are you? Stay tuned for the next one. Next one we'll talk about is the saboteur. And I'll explain how they all work together. We all have a saboteur. We all have a child. We all have a prostitute. We all have a victim. Stay tuned for those.